Okay. Yeah. Uh, I did HIV slash AIDS. Uh, just some basic overall information so that you know <coughs> what I'm talking about. Uh, HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus, and it causes Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. They're not the same thing, they're the virus and then what it causes. Um, AIDS is caused by an extremely low CD4 cell count, and how that happens is HIV invades the CD4 cells, also called T cells, and then kills them. And then this lowers your immune system. And it's not really the AIDS that kills you, it's the diseases that you get from your lowered immune system that actually kill you. This is the graph, this is when you get infected, you have a severe drop in CD4 cell count, and then it comes back up, and then the virus kind of stays with you while you slowly lose immunoprotection. And then it goes all the way up to death. Um, AIDS was discovered in 1981 uh, in the United States. Uh, if you watch the video, which I hope you did, um, it said that it first appeared in gay males, and then it spread from them, from anyone who was in sexual contact with them, or shared a needle, or really any when any time they would be in contact with their bodily fluids. Um, the virus was discovered in 1983. And it's thought that HIV came from uh, the simian immunodeficiency virus, um, but we don't have any real proof. Uh, HIV, like I said, is spread through sexual contact, um, through contact with blood or bodily fluids, or from an infected mother to her child. Um, HIV is HIV belongs to a specific specific type of group of viruses called retroviruses, which contains RNA and then goes backwards from RNA to DNA, and that DNA is included into the cellular chromosome, and then it replicates with the cell. Um, this is done using the enzyme reverse transcriptase, which is where we get retro and the reverse. And um, since HIV replicates in such great numbers, like thousands and thousands, it's hard to treat because it mutates so often. Uh, so. <laughs> 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 um, this is actually what HIV looks like, contrary to the previous. Um, it's got the RNA inside the capsid uh, core with the verse transcriptase enzyme with it. And then around that it has a lipid bilayer to um, allow it to get into the cell. This is kind of the life cycle of HIV. It starts by how any virus starts. It's by binding to the cell, then it fuses with the cell, everything comes out of the capsids, and then the reverse transcriptase works on the RNA to transform it into DNA. It then moves into the nucleus, is integrated into the viral chromosome, and then it becomes a provirus. And then later on it, it transcribes the DNA into RNA, and then it translates that RNA into enzymes and different proteins that it needs to become a mature virus. Then it moves out by budding, and it matures, and then it starts to cycle over again. And it does this millions and millions and millions of times. Um, diagnosis. The best way to diagnose HIV is to uh, use a blood test, um, the ELISA test on his uh, presentation was what they use. And um, the treatment is difficult because retroviruses mutate so often. Um, so multiple drugs are taken at the same time, two to more uh, usually. And <coughs> when HIV and AIDS first appeared, it was kind of impossible to treat because we had no idea what it was doing, why it was so hard to treat, why these other antiviral drugs weren't working on it. Um, death toll, 60 million people have been infected, and then 25 million people have died from HIV and AIDS since it was first discovered in 1981. Um, we still don't have a cure, so we're kind of looking for that. Um, and most medicines focus on killing the virus or preventing it from spreading and reproducing. 